Hi friends, my name is Rina. Welcome to the channel if you're new here and thank you for joining me for this yin flow. Today we're working with some gentle twists to relieve spine pain and we're also going to work with some hip openers. You might want to keep a couple of blocks next to you for this practice and with that said, let's start an easy seat. Take a moment to tune into your breath here. Inhale, raise your arms up and gently twist to your right. Arms are long and chin is over your shoulder. Breathe. Stay long in your back. And now gently twist to the other side. Now extend your left leg in front of you and keep the right one bent. Lift your arms up, find length, inhale and exhale, fold forward. You might want to use a block for this one. Now place the sole of your right foot on the mat, knee facing up, lift your arm up and twist to your right again. Left tricep is gently pressing into your right thigh. Keep breathing. And now we're gonna switch so extend your right leg in front of you bend your left leg sole of your feet facing in lift your arms up breathe and exhale fold forward Slowly come back up and now bring the sole of your left foot to the mat, knee facing up and twist to your left. Right tricep gently pressing into your left thigh, find length in your back as you continue to breathe.
And now slowly release, extend your legs to the sides, coming into a straddle. So remove any flesh from underneath you, make sure you get comfortable here. Maybe it's time to bring the blocks in if you'd like some support with this. And you can gently lean forward. Stay long in your back, broad shoulders, and sink deeper into the pose. Allow your body enough time to open up and remember to breathe. You can point your feet or flex them. And now keep your chest open and lift your right arm up and over to your left shin or even your ankle and notice how you feel on the side of your body. Avoid restricting your breath. Continue breathing mindfully. Long inhalations and long exhalations. And now gently switch. Keep your breath equal and steady as you create space in your body. Now place your fingertips on the mat and start waving up and down. Sink your breath with the movement and slowly and actively make those waves. And now both hands will go to frame your left foot, fold. Then onto your right side and linger here. Slowly come back up, bend your left knee in and gently transition to Pigeon Pose. Place one palm on top of the other and massage your forehead into it.
Notice how the longer you stay in the pose, the more tension your body continues to release and the more space you create. Now bend your right knee too, making your left shin parallel to the short edge of the mat and your right shin parallel to the long edge of the mat. Turn to your left and fold. Keep your left leg bent and take your right leg over to your left side, coming into a gentle twist. Twisting to your right side again, long back and steady breath. And now place your hands right behind your back, keep your legs as is and turn over to your left side. Keep the right leg bent and extend your left leg behind you and fold forward, resting in pigeon pose, stay with your breath. Slowly come back up, bend your left leg, turn over to your right and fold. Remember the blocks are here to support you anytime you need them.
slowly come back up and take your twist. While you're twisting, see if with your next exhalation, you can twist a little bit further. Now lie down on your mat, extend your left leg, bend your right one and take it over to your left side. Looking over to your right side, you're in a supine twist. And now bend your right leg and take hold of it with your right hand. And slowly switch sides, taking a supine twist on the other side.
and like a cat pulling its tail, bend your extended leg and take hold of it. Now gently release everything, Shavasana. Let's take a few minutes in Shavasana. Relax your forehead and your jaw. Maybe even part your teeth a little. Allow your shoulders, hips and your entire body to hang heavy on the mat. And remember to acknowledge yourself for showing up on your mat today. I hope you enjoyed this practice and it left you feeling better and relaxed. I post here on a weekly basis, so if you like this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Until next time, Namaste.